Have you ever wondered what camera to buy to shoot your videos, family videos, video for your friends, anything? My name is Chuck. I make YouTube videos about film, film cameras, tech stuff. So if you like any of those, please consider subscribing. Here are a few reasons why I chose the Canon 77D over some other cameras in 2020. So for my previous videos, except for the what's in my bag video, I was using the Fujifilm X-T3. If you've been searching on YouTube, you know it's a great camera. Um, I use it for my freelance work, um, but when it comes to shooting YouTube videos, I always hook it up with a external monitor or um, I forgot what it's called, but it's this Bluetooth thing that shoots the video to my iPad. I always found that clumbersome. It's another thing I have to set up. So I wanted to find a camera with a flip out monitor. So I had experience using Canon before. I started my DSLR journey on a Canon 400D, but this time around, I just wanted a simple camera that I could shoot simple YouTube videos with. So I was researching a few Canon cameras. I was looking at the 80D, um, 7070D, and I believe it's called the 800D or 850 or 900 whatever it's called numbers getting up there i'm not keeping track they each had their kind of their plus or minuses i really wanted to get the add but i didn't want a big ish camera i wanted something small 77d was in between the three cameras i was looking at so it seemed like the logical choice but i didn't like a few things I'll get to that later. I got a second hand for $3,000 Hong Kong. I already had some Canon glass that I didn't sell back then. So right now I'm using the Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8. Awesome camera, big aperture, shallow depth of field. First thing I love about it, like all Canon DSLRs, um, the flip up monitor. It's great, it's useful, autofocus is spot on. Yep, it's great, it's a great camera. I can still see myself, I'm like uh, an arm's length plus another feet. Second thing, great autofocus. It's the same amongst the three cameras I chose as well. Um, I'm using face tracking right now, it's pretty spot on. Plus I'm not moving much, so it's all good. Another thing I like about it is I can use my Canon glass. I have a few Canon glass left in my cabinet. I have the 10 to 18, which I use to shoot my what's in my bag video. One of the main reasons why I bought this camera, now that I think of it, originally is because I didn't have a ultra wide on my X-T3. The widest I have is a 16 millimeter, which is kind of like 23, 24, but um, the 10, the 10 millimeter. The 10 millimeter, maybe I should just add in some B-roll instead of doing this, but whatever. The 10 millimeter is really 16 millimeters in full frame. So it's just super wide. So the next positive is that the battery life is really good. So I've been shooting for maybe half an hour, a little bit more than that. It's still on full charge. So on to what's not good about it. So on the ADD, it had um, the audio level showing on the monitor, but this one doesn't have it. Kind of sucks, because when, if the audio dies for some reason, you will not know until you go back to your computer to review the footage or, you know, or, or, or playback in general. I didn't really research about this when I bought it, so I just found out when I bought it. Oh well, it's fine, because I'm shooting indoors. I'm shooting at my home anyways. I'm just plugging into my Rode Video Mic Go, I think that's what it's called. Um, so it's fine. I usually take a quick few second clip, play back, see if I hear it clearly. It works, it works. So next, so when you change the ISO, it's in full stops, meaning it goes from 100 to 200 to 400 to 800 to 160 to 320. It doesn't have the incrementals. It doesn't have 160, it doesn't have 320, it doesn't have 500, it doesn't have 600 or whatever. So why is that a problem? 
it might not be a problem if you're shooting photos because you might be using auto mode or you might be using aperture priority you can change the aperture to get um, the the effect you want right the the picture you want but when you're shooting videos you have to lock in your shutter speed you would prefer a bigger aperture so you're pretty much locking in your aperture at the biggest your lens provides therefore the only thing that you can really tweak is the ISO if your ISO is only limited in full stops then you are very limited in the exposure that you can set I, origi I originally thought obviously I didn't put in too much thinking I thought oh I can just change the you know exposure compensation but long behold I was stupid um, you're in manual mode you can't really change that but you can get away using ND filters um, but that doesn't really work in my setting because I don't always have my big light set up when I'm using my smaller light so like in my previous videos, I mostly used two of these Fotix, uh, Fotix uh, S Nuwada, that's what it's called, I think. So two of these, they aren't, see, they aren't really super bright. So it doesn't really work. So when, when, when you're using ND filter, you're actually reducing the light that's going into the camera. So when you're in an environment with limited light, it's not really ideal. So that's a big, big con about this camera. So I guess that's basically it. Some might say that you can get around the flip screen by using an external monitor, hooking it up on top of your camera. But as you can see, my room is super tiny. I can't really leave my camera out in the room all the time. It doesn't really work for me. But that's how these YouTube videos are, right? We all share why we buy stuff. It might not apply to all of you because all our circumstances are different. But we take things here and there and we get ideas of how it might work for us individually and that's what's great about youtube everybody has different ideas one way or another they apply to many different people so that is why i really like watching these videos on youtube myself that's why i'm making this video hope you enjoyed it so yeah that's it that's my video on why i bought the canon 77d for my youtube videos um if you have any questions feel free to comment down below let me know i will definitely definitely answer all of my comments let's see if we can get more than five comments for this video that's a very low bar to set but it's okay <laughs>